allowed I suppose to have exercises, etc. Mr. Minister also complained about the fact that uh, he sometimes cannot have the opportunity to consult with his client. So the last hearing I undertook to speak to Judge Cameron. I didn't do it because uh, when I told the JP Lambo <coughs> that I intended approaching him in connection with your client's complaints, he told me that uh, Cameron Judge had already written a letter to him. In, in that letter, they were discussing, amongst other things, the fact that judges of the high courts, when they make orders which proclaim accused persons who are there for, who are detained, <coughs> pending them being certified to be compus mentus, meaning that they can stand trial. But before they do that, a psychologist, psychiatrist or doctor must examine that type of person. And normally the judges only make a blanket order that uh, the accused person is referred to Stephen or whichever hospital, mental hospital or vet copies or whatever. And sometimes in the system, the accused persons are never again visited upon by the psychiatrist. So Judge Cameron was complaining that uh, these persons fall through the cracks because their detention is not defined. And he was insisting that maybe judges should make orders defining exactly that this 90-day period, what should happen to it. And preferably an order which is justifiable to, to detain this person for mental examination should be about 90 days, but within 90 days or at the end of 90 days, that person should again be seen in court by a judge who will then determine whether in fact this person is being treated or not. Judge Cameron also made mention, it's public knowledge, that uh, he believes that uh, some of the detentions in, are, as he puts it, are inhuman in the sense that uh, they do not have consideration of the constitutional rights of some of the prisoners and that sometimes the Bill of Rights is being compromised in that fashion, in that uh, they are not given enough time to go and exercise, they are not accorded time to be visited by their loved ones or relatives or wives, and that uh, he thought that exigency should be visited upon by the Department of Correctional Services, which apparently he did. And J.P. Mlambo, when I discussed that there is this complaint about the human rights pertaining actually to the detention or the confinement of awaiting trial prisoners or there are certain complaints which have been visited upon, for instance, by Mr. Mnisi. The JP's view, which I agree with, is that this is a comprehensive question of the alleged infringement of the Bill of Rights, and he cannot alone, because there are five or six or nine divisions of the Supreme Court, of the High Court here, it must be a general dispensation which is accorded by the Director of Public Prosecutions. So, concerning Mr. Mnisi's client, I did a bit of research and I came across this case. The Minister of Justice, Correctional Services and others versus Nduli and Judicial 
Inspectorate for Correctional Services, S. Amicus. I'll give you a copy of this. This case was finalized on the 13th of September 2023 by my brother, Anta Halter. He was sitting with five other judges, four other judges. And this case, I think it's the most comprehensive de decision in, in South Africa concerning the Bill of Rights as it pertains or affects so-called prisoners or persons who are detained. If you read this case, you'll be able to find your way how you must approach the question of your client. Okay. Hello. It pertains only to that one. It pertains only to a so-called accused person or prisoner who wanted to exercise his rights to study and he wanted to be accorded the right to have a, a computer which he must utilize for his studies. But it traverses the Bill of Rights pertinently as it pertains to persons like your client. The only way you can visit that, <laughs> that exigency is to bring an application to court as suggested by Mr. Baloi, which will have to define your client's rights pertaining to his incarceration, confinement, study, or, pre or, sorry, or exercise, visitations by friends, accused persons, or parents, etc., etc. So your only option, because when I read that decision, apparently it accords with what uh, Mr. Ngumalo was telling Louis and yourself about the fact that apparently your client is alleged to be, I don't know, a security risk, whatever they mean by that. So you have to bring an application. <clears throat> there is no other way you can do it because the director of correctional services is the one who frames these uh, regulations which control the incarceration of persons or prisoners, either awaiting or trial or those who are already sentenced. Okay. That's all I can tell you. Uh, as it please the court, my lord, I'm, I'm, I'm indebted to the court, mm. and thank you very much. Okay, thanks. <coughs> I'm, I'm not so sure whether I need to get a directive from, from Mr. Mnuchin. Yeah, you'll tell him what the law says and what yeah. that judgment pert pertinently says. That's yes. the only judgment in South Africa. Yes. Concerning a Bill of Rights, concerning a, what you're trying complaints about, amongst other things. Okay. Yes. I'm, I'm, I'm not certain whether I can also request that what the court has just alluded to be interpreted to him as well. Okay, fine. Mr. Interpreter, are you listening? Yes, or not. Yeah, but fine. It was a bit long. Yeah, okay. No, no. The salient parts of it. As the court pleases. Uh, we have a complaint that we have to say that we have to say that we have to say solitary confinement. We have to say that we have to for 90 days, a solitary confinement. Who to a show to Fanele Abone, Jacques, who was a bona, who took it made a And Conagin to Conag would to Twala, Abandaba Valle, Imadungelo, Avo, Ababin and Dabanao, by Ababa Tolia Bandaba Vas, Varashela, and Tabe, Shop and Abangan, Tragebu. Chemapeo 
indoge abafane ba yenze umelo wakho ukuthi ufanele afake isicelo sokuthi kubhekwe ukuthi amalungelo aphethwe kanjani ngathi ngithe ukuqinga ngale onde okay thanks thank you manager yes please so manager before i proceed uh this morning i was approached by accused number 1 my client actually before he made a, a, a concern that his id identity document has not been given back to him then that has been explained and my lord his concern was that since 2020 he requested his identity document his identity document correct my lord his mm. smart card now the children are going to university and they want to apply for nespas so there is a need or a requirement for the document to be attached okay, to thanks. those applications. Have you asked or visited Canvas that issue with Mr. Pandori? I have, but uh, what's, what's his view? A number of times. Oh. Where is the ID? Indeed, my lord, we confirmed that we had discussions and we explained to my colleague, Mr. Mbunizuru, that in section, section 31, I think, of the Criminal Procedure Act, this ID document forms part of the exhibit, mm -hmm. and uh, 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 up until the finalization of the the, uh, the case, it remains um, in the custody of the police unless the court orders otherwise. We explained to him that he should make a written request as indicated by the investigating officer, and that is where the matter is, my lord. Once a written request is submitted by Mr. Mgomezulu, the um, investigating team will then take it from there and 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 we, we explained to him that he must set out the reasons why the uh, the exhibit should be released at at, at this point in time may I approach yes one? yes <coughs> may I just well okay, okay. Mr. Hey. My instructions further is that this is an exceptional case where the application has already been made to various universities, so they require the document. They require? They require that identity document. Oh, I see. Yeah. And further, he told me that when he was arrested upon taking that uh, identity document, he, wa he was not arrested for this case was arrested for the f matter that has been finalized in Tembisi. Mr. Baloui, you see... Yeah. Well, the, the, that evidence is on record as to what happened on the 30th of May, yeah. uh, 2020, when, when accused number one was arrested. It was for the Tembisa case, but that was after the investigating team um, did an analysis and, and, and profiling of the accused regarding the current case. Uh, so it is part and parcel of the uh, exhibit in the, in the current matter. Are you not able to make a, a copy, a copy of that identity document and then certify it? Yes. Uh, I, I explained to my colleague that we don't foresee that there will be a problem, but obviously a certain procedure has to be followed. Mm -hmm. There must be record kept of yeah, any fine. exhibits that is disposed of. Yeah. And I'm sure if you were to follow that, that procedure, I, I, I don't think there'll be any, any, any problem. I think the matter has been raised prematurely, and we say this with the greatest of respect with the court. Um, if, only if we don't reach um, an agreement can this matter then be brought to the attention of the court. But I, I'm sure we'll be able to find each other. Okay. Yeah, point. please. Mm. Yes. May I approach? Yes, yes, yes. Is it please the court? Mm. Uh, my Lord, unfortunately, Mr. Mr. Mube instructs me that mm. he it has come to a point where he can no longer take it. 
because he has been in that situation that I explained before mm. the research mm. for four years. Yeah, correct. And now that it is indicated to him that um, unfortunately there is nothing that can be done in the meantime mm. to assist him, mm. and the only way through which he can be assisted is for him to bring a substantive application mm. before another court to challenge his situation. Yes. He therefore requests, my lord, mm. that this trial should then stop. Stop? To, yes. It ah. is his request. Those are my instructions. <laughs> that is why he is instructing me. I know there's a political party which wanted to stop. Uh, maybe, maybe, some, some. maybe, <laughs> maybe the word stop uh, is, is, is a, it's another way. But then be, 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 um, that the continuation with this trial be suspended in the circumstances, my lord, to afford him the opportunity to contact his family, which he does not know how he's going to do it, to try and find out on his behalf if there's an attorney and an advocate who will be willing to bring that application for him. Because he is saying, fella, he will not be in a position at a, uh, to, 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 to start to drive or to prosecute that application when he's also concentrating in this case. And most unfortunately as well, my lord, I am also not in a position to assist in that application when I'm also supposed to be concentrating on this case. Oh. I, I, I'm, I'm, I, I can't be, be, be expected in the afternoon to go <clears throat> and assist in the drafting of papers also prepare for the following day to come cross-examine and listen to, I mean, to analyze testimonies of witnesses and cross-examine them in this case. Oh. It, it, it's, it's, that will further perpetuate the injustices that he is complaining about, because then I will have to, 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 um, to share my, 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 my concentration I, 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 I fortunately, I would not be able to confront two fronts from different angles. I mean, uh, to, uh, to confront two fronts at a go, that I would not be able to, 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 to do. So you're saying this trial must be terminated because you don't want to, you have used the word stop. No, so you're saying I think it might be terminated. Is, what are no, you saying? No, my lord. What are you I, 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 as I said, probably the word stop so, came out in a rather um, uh, 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 unsavory way. Mm. He's basically requesting that he be afforded the opportunity to try and get an attorney and an advocate through his family that is going to assist him. But the unfortunate part is he will not be in a position to do that when he's also attending this court. So that means for him to be able to fight the battle, which is such a mammoth battle that he's supposed to fight, is for this trial to be suspended for, for a how while. Long? Suspended for how long? I I've ne let me tell you, I've never ever heard of a trial which is suspended on those, on those bases. Let me then uh, explain the following. Mm. Probably the court is also for the first time that is meeting a situation where a person is held in, sol in, in solitary confinement for four years, which yeah, is the yeah, reason but, why but the court you know has Look, not yet uh, heard you know, of such a situation. You, wait, wait. I just went out of my way. No judge will do what I did. Yes. Research the law and come with an SEA decision to, to, to you. And I can tell you, this matter, this has been taken on appeal. Are you aware of that? That was the case. I, I, I know Advocate Mishalala did refer to the case. Yeah, but this it, case at some point, it's been um, taken on appeal to the Constitutional Court. So the Constitutional Court, I don't know when they are going to handle that matter because whatever they do, that case is the, the most relevant. Because it, it's a binding authority at the moment. That's it, yeah. The circumstances, my lord, of this case, as I had the court trying to elucidate on them, are different in that somebody 
who is not held in a solitary confinement, is requesting for amenities to enable him to study like laptop and all, all those other studying gadgets. But here, we are talking of a person who is mentally drained, a person that has been in solitary confinement, who has got no access to television, who has got no access to a radio, who has got access to virtually nothing, no newspaper, no nothing. And he is supposed, or he is expected, to formulate a defense in the no, no. case of such a magnitude. No, that is no. totally unfair. No, no. That is totally unfair. Was, so these two cases are totally distinguishable. No, no, no. Are you saying just to draft a, a founding affidavit challenging the conditions under which he's been incarcerated, you need this trial to stop? My Lord, I am only conveying what he is No, no, you are fine. No, no. I, because I maybe, think... maybe he personally intends, because even his funding in respect of this case is done by legal aid. Yeah, he can apply for legal aid again. No problem. I'm not even so sure whether, my Lord, that they will be able to do that. But I will try. I will try. I'll try to communicate with them during lunchtime. If circumstances permit, I'll bring the answer after lunchtime. No, I can tell you now. Ne? Yes. The interests of justice don't allow that request. I can't. In this case, there are four or five accused persons before me. There are the complainants, there are the witnesses, even myself. I can't be sitting on in this case until I die. Maybe my Lord, so in, those, maybe are, my Lord in those circumstances, because this is a, is a situation so it generates. Uh, probably it will be a justification. Do now it. I'm thinking. I'm thinking out of. I'm, think, I'm thinking out of the uh, the box. It will be a justification to apply for a separation of trial then, to afford him the opportunity to go and attend whatever that he wants to attend. Meanwhile, the trial, so that to avoid uh, to avoid to prejudice the other accused no, with the no. continuation if of the trial. You say you want the separation of trial. Yes. What happens to the evidence which has been led? I've never heard. It is never never relevant. To me, it I've never heard relevant. of a separation of trial at this late stage. Never. But does the court really understand, my lord? I do. To stay in solitary confinement. I do. That's why. For four years. That's what why, does it do to the mind of a person? That's why I became consent. Yes. I engaged the JP. I engaged the directorate of inspections. And I even went to the law. And. This is not a difficult application, please. It concerns a bill of rights. That's all it concerns. My Lord, it is so. It might not be a difficult application to a person who knows the law. Yeah. But to a person like him, you who know the law. Who you probably, know the law. But I've just indicated, my Lord, that I'm not prepared even with an inch to concentrate in this trial, at the same time be involved in a separate substantive application, which so, has got so, to do so, with so, his housing. So then I'm not prepared okay, to fine. do it. And if I'm not prepared to do it, my lord, then he then has got to do it himself. That is where then that, uh, that notion of to draft an affidavit for, 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 for in terms of a person who knows the law might not be a tedious thing, but to a person who knows the law, such as him, it's going to be a very tedious Yeah, he's thing. going to instruct a lawyer, obviously. Okay. I'm sorry, I can't accede to any of those requests. Let me, Separation let of me trials, instructions, my Lord. Stop the trial. I can't do that. Let me, let me take instructions, my yeah, Lord. But before I do that, <clears throat> I also wish to bring it to the attention of the court, my Lord. Mm. That it also hinders me because instructions that are coming from him, at some stage, they don't make sense. They, 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 you can see that this is a psychologically impaired instruction. They just don't mm -hmm. make a sense, my lord. It also hinders me a lot, and I'm expected to bring sense to the court. How do I bring sense to the court in circumstances where I'm getting instructions that are psychologically hindered? By virtue of the fact that a person has been in custody in, in solitary confinement for four years, I don't think even at Guatemala prison that is still the position, my Thank you. Let me take instructions. Yeah, okay, fine. Yes, I'm a last Here what? My concern, my lord. <clears throat> my lord, uh, my instruction from accused number one is that the state wants to rely on section 31 
to, to what? To, to rely to Section 31 to keep the document or the exhibit until the finalization of this matter, of which what, that was not the same position with accused number two. Accused number two, when he was arrested, the state took the, his identity document and it was given back to him. So he finds no reason why the state should keep his identity document, because there will be no prejudice if such document is presented. And there's already evidence that has been led regarding the identity of the, of the accused. That cannot be hampered with. Yeah, Mr. Benoit. My Lord, I, I thought we've reached an um, acceptable arrangement mm -hmm. that my learned friend will knock off an email um, to the state and setting out the reasons for the disposal of the exhibit at this point and that we'll then consider that and revert to him and that the court will be approached if we, if we don't reach an agreement. And I'm hopeful, my Lord, that we, we should be able to... Um, to reach, an to, to reach an agreement on this point. I, you know what, I'm even, I'm even prepared to make an order to say that uh, your client's identity document is in the custody of the South African police. Its SAP 13 number is this and this and this and this and this. <coughs> and your client's identity document's number is this and this and this and this. I'll make an order to that event. <coughs> If you want me to. Yes, but we, we think we might not even um, reach that point. <coughs> but, uh, I, I, I'm sure we can find each other. On okay, fine. Is that okay, Mr. Mbomizo? That would be fine for me. Yes, sir. Uh, as it please the court, my lord. Uh, my instructions are that he has been in custody uh, in solitary confinement since 2019. People have come in and went out. People who have re-offended while in prison, they've stepped police and everything. They've stepped other inmates. They went in and went out. Now, apparently, he is told that one of the reasons why he should be kept in solitary confinement is because of this case. Now, his question is, some of his colleagues that are also attending, that is also attending with in, in, in this case, that is called accused, are not in solitary confinement. So why should it be him that is in solitary confinement because of this case. When other uh, uh, accused that are also involved in this case are, in solitary, are not in solitary confinement, he still insists that may the court please have passion, mercy, and compassion to allow him an opportunity to go and think of a situation or of, a, of an idea on how best could he uh, 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 tackle this situation? Because he says, my lord, he cannot even concentrate here at court. Because each time he comes here, he's got to think about his conditions where he is housed, as to the reason why is this injustice actually being perpetrated. My lord. When he leaves here, he hardly has got time to think about what has been happening here at court for that day, because he spends most of his time in solitary confinement, thinking about his agonies. He's basically agonizing about his stay there. No, fine, I hear that. He, he, can, he must bring an urgent application. He's got the right to do that. In the, in the meantime, what should then be happening? Because I've got no instructions in the meantime, there's nothing, to cross-examine this witness. No, no, in the meantime, this court, there's nothing this court can do because the, <clears throat> the Commissioner of Correctional Services has made an order. Am I correct, Mr. We, yes, indeed. And, yeah, and we, I mean, we, we try to the best of our yeah. ability to mediate, but it's about separation That's of it, powers. Yeah. So that order must be set aside. Yes, they, they exercise powers in terms of the Correctional Services <clears throat> Act. That's it, yeah. And, you it's know, nothing. Nothing this court can do. There's much we can do. Okay. Can we just start? Uh, with this this is the message, my lord. The, uh, the court cannot compel me to start, my lord. I'm a creature of instructions. If I don't have the instructions to start, I can't start. But this is so, what Mr. he's saying. Mr. 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 Yes. Mr. Are you saying if your client says you mustn't start, you're not going to start? No, but my lord, I, I, no, I need to instructions. I cannot act against his instructions. And this is what he's saying. What do I mean? He says he can't start because he's got instructions. 
English to whom is again Ayo. Those are my yeah, instructions. I sympathize and I'm very human about this situation. That's why I'm saying we can bring an urgent application against the correctional services, the minister, the director, and you can even cite the Department of Justice also. May I then request, my lord, that we have an adjournment. I consult, uh, actually I talk to legal aid and find out if there's something that I can do in respect of this, because basically he is their client. Thank you. Yes, Mr. Valoy. It's, it's seven minutes to 11. Maybe we can then take the short adjournment, the, the, the normal short adjournment until about half past 11. Okay, come back at half past 11.